I want to talk about the Platy Ball after two years of use. Right, well I've come down to the landing stages on Derwent Water and I want to talk about this, the Platy Ball. It's a tripod head that I've had for over two years now and I want to give my thoughts after two years of use. Um, I will put up, up in the um, top corner there a link to an initial video I did about initial thoughts about this uh, and obviously that was, was two years ago and I thought it was about time I updated it. Right, so let's get on with it. Right, well first of all I need to say that I did buy this, I bought it through a Kickstarter but it was all with my own money, I'm not sponsored and these are all my thoughts and there is no input from um, the company that make this which is called Platypod. Um, their first thing they made was the, the Platypod there, so, um, which is an alternative to a tripod for getting very low. But this, I want to talk about the platy ball, the pluses, the minuses, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the platy pod there and use this as though it was on a tripod so I can explain about it, etc. So, we'll get the camera lined up so we can see this as we record. So, we'll see you shortly. Right, well the first thing I want to talk about is the, the ease of, or not ease, of getting the camera on and off the um, platy ball. Now it is compatible with the standard Arca Swiss bracket. On this camera I have an L bracket because that's what I prefer. So we can see, I'll just show you there, there's the, the two clips and you turn that um, there that locks into place, squeezes those together, squeezes the plates. To release it you press the button at the back there and come around and that pulls the, um, the grips apart to get the camera on and off. So yeah, it's quite easy, you just slip the camera on and the thing and that's it solid. So and just as I say to release you press the button and the camera comes off very easy indeed. On, turn it round, clip it, press the button, turn it back and the camera goes off, which is brilliant. It's very easy to put on and off. Obviously you can see with the L bracket there, I can put it on, same again, and it's on. The only thing you need to be careful of, and I have noticed this, I don't know whether I can do it, is if you put the, if the brackets on at a slight angle, you haven't got it quite on square, you can sometimes think it's tight and then it's just a bit wobbly. So you do have to just check. And I have noticed sometimes that, yeah, it just, I mean, this is, so it's maybe like that. So it's just a bit of movement and, and it's not quite just to check. So whether that's a design fault, whether that's user error, I'm not quite sure, but I have fortunately I haven't learned the hard way of putting something on, moving it and the camera falling off. Um, I have seen people have cameras on tripods that are not on firmly and they move and they've fallen off. So yeah, so it's very easy as I say, it goes on very easy. You just got to make sure if there's a bit of movement just check that you have got um, the wheel tight and it has got a good grip and when it is on as you can see the grip is solid there so that's getting the camera on and off the the head so yeah and I'm very pleased with that um, I'll show you a clip from a recent video of me putting on and it just shows how easy it is just to get the camera on whether it be the base plate, the side plate on the L bracket. So that is excellent. And that is, I'm very positive about that. The next thing I want to talk about is, is lining it up, etc. And you can see there's two buttons there. 
Now if I press the bottom button, squeeze it in, every time you squeeze it gets a beast. It, that loosens the head. And as you can see, the ball is actually at the bottom, so the head is on top of the ball rather than most heads you have. That's the tripod and you're moving it that way. It does have advantages and it does have disadvantages. So you can line it up and then you squeeze the top button in and that will slowly tighten up. Right, you can see that's there. I, I possibly over tighten it, I don't know. I have a tendency to think that's... Now the idea is, and I'm not totally convinced about this, so we'll just do it slightly tight. We'll put the camera on. We'll do it that way so you can see. So if we loosen, the idea is it you can do it one handed that you can do it depends on what you've got on and now this is a Canon 5D Mark IV with the extra battery bracket and the lens and I find it quite difficult to do single handed I mean it is possible to do single handed and you only need the one hand to then press the button and then the the camera is um, steady and lined up but I find it very difficult to do that fine movement with just one hand so the way I tend to do it is I have this hand on the camera and the other the the left hand actually oh you can see there that's not that's wobbling a bit as I mentioned before hold this heaven all right that's tight so and get the left hand on to to do the buttons and that way i just find it easier to just get that fine movement get it just where you want it and then press the buttons to keep it steady i just find maybe with a very light camera it is would be easy to do it single-handed but with a heavy camera and say i'd got me big lens on the 100 400 and the camera body that would be very difficult to do it single-handed i think to me it is a dual handed and the way i i'll just take my glasses off for this the way i actually do this once i've got it on the tripod loosen it up and i actually do it through the viewfinder because um if i turn it on <laughs> so it's um i can see and half press the sutter that there is the thing to line it up and I just find it easier just to line it up with the thing in the viewfinder get that steady and then that should be level so then when I go on to the live view to actually check the image that is level and you can do it obviously with if I do that right and um, with the live view that because I have got the level on the live view there I just maybe it's just habit um, I don't know but I tend to do it by looking having the camera on the tripod looking through the viewfinder and the level there get it level and then um, can see it on the back I mean as it is very similar to all ball heads you are fine just adjustments are very difficult i have seen a number of people who have now got geared heads um i haven't got one i'd be interested maybe at some point to try one out because then you can just do that fine adjustment um I sometimes find you think you've got it level and it's just not quite but it's i mean for doing it very quickly um, as I say, the buttons loosen it, and then we can just turn it round, and then we can do it. And obviously, if we've got it loosened there, we can spin the camera round on the ball there. So we'll just tighten that up. So that's getting it level, tightening it up, etc. So we'll leave that there, and we'll see you again in a moment. So, so far everything is quite good. Now you might be wondering about, and um, the last video um, 
not the last video I recorded, the last video that went up, which was going around Ennerdale, I did a panorama. And you might be thinking, well, if you're using the ball to spin it round, that's going to be very difficult, and that would be right. But there is, if we just tighten it up again, you'll see there's this wheel here, and you push it, wheel it away from you to tighten up and wheel it back to loosen it. Then the whole, whoops, top for loosening it enough spins round so if we put the camera on I need to tighten it up <laughs> a bit first otherwise it'll just spin round when I try and tighten it so get the camera on I can loosen this I mean if we the looser we get it the easier it will spin around so that's how you can do your panorama or if you've got it lined up and you just want to move it slightly to the side uh, and you can do fine adjustments left and right on that without um, a lot easier than loosening the um, the ball and doing it on the ball so I mean that is very good the only problem I have with it is for taking a panorama now if we see let's come back it so i can see the whole so let's just tighten this up a minute so say we've got the the camera obviously for a panorama we would have it on and we've got the camera level as in the horizontal but we've got it tipped down slightly because that's the image we want now the problem with this, because then the head that spins is not completely level on all things. As you spin it round, you will not get um, everything level. I mean, I don't know whether if I turn it on and put it on the... Oh, what's it done? Oh, something's got... I'll do it on this... Wait, let's. Something's. Um, not quite sure what's happening. Oh, right there. Yeah, so, well, if we get it, let's just tighten it up. Now we'll get it level on the level, but pointing down slightly. And we're going to point this down. We're going to accentuate it by pointing it down quite a bit. But that is now level so we'll say there but if we then loosen that as we spin it round it it's not level that is very unlevel and you get in a so you get in the sort of like that rather than it going round like that rather than it going round like that it's going round up the side so you've got to make sure I'll tighten this up again Let's just try and we'll... So when we level it, we've got to have it level on the horizontal. And level on the vertical as well. Which um, this is the bit I have difficult to remember in how to do on the camera, on the level on the back for the... Is it? That's going, that's pointing down. Oh, there we go, there's the line. And right, so that's now level, both horizontal and vertical. So if we now spin it round, it stays level. So that is, to me, is a slight problem, because sometimes you high up or you low down and you just want to point the camera slightly down or slightly up i mean i haven't actually tried it um but i am aware of that i did um, exaggerate it there but on a normal um ball head you would have got the lower bit of the ball level and then got the camera level so when it spins round 
it spins the whole thing round. So if it's pointing down, it spins it round like that. So you, I mean, you get a slight problem with the panel because of the uh, that, but it stays level. Whereas this one, it goes up or up, or depending, on, it'd be going down and then down. So. Yeah, so that's a, a, one of the only real problems I've found with this. So, yeah, well, that, I think that covers everything. We'll just stop there and then we'll have a sum up. All right, to conclude, I find this a brilliant um, tripod head. As I say, the only problem I've got can be when thinking about doing a panorama and trying to get everything totally level and the fact that sometimes you do need a slight angle on it but other than that i would highly recommend it um now whether it's worth the money i can't remember how much i did pay for it it wasn't the cheapest of um tripod heads uh, if i remember i'll find out see what the current cost is and the only other thing is it is not particularly light either compared to some tripod heads so yeah um i don't know I'll, I'll i'll get the weight and i'll get the price and i'll put those up and people can see what they think um so whether it was worth the cost i don't know i just find it very useful a brilliant tripod head and i would totally recommend it so that's the platic ball and it's made by a company called Platypod, named after their first instrument, uh, first piece of equipment there. So that's that's a brilliant piece of equipment. Um, you, I don't know whether you'll be able to see on this. It, this has been well used. It is a bit um, scratched, etc., which is not surprising, but it's still holding up. As I say, I've had it over two years and it still performs perfectly well so yeah that's the platy ball um there are two versions well i think this is the ergo which is the straightforward version the slightly souped up version and i can't remember what it's called does have a a digital plate on the back that shows the level so you can level it without actually having anything else on um, but I just used the level on, on the camera and that's served me well. So, right, so there we are, the Platypod Ball, highly recommended. And this will go up midweek and we'll see you on the next video.